Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm just hanging out here with my uh, giant zucchini. Just about to harvest a couple of them. Wait a minute, zucchinis? What does that have to do with basil? Now that's a perfect zucchini. Let's head over to the greenhouse and check out the basil. What is with this storm today? Good thing we're doing a video inside. Anyway, the reason I was uh, picking zucchinis is because we actually uh, try not to eat too much wheat pasta here. Um, so we fry up zucchini, either spiralized or in sticks, uh, as a replacement for pasta noodles. And since we are making pesto pasta tonight, um, that's why I was picking zucchinis. But this video today is about basil. Basil is an aromatic annual herb uh, actually in the mint family. It's native to tropical Asia and it's most synonymous with sort of Mediterranean Italian um, dishes. So basil, basil has a ton of benefits when you eat it. It's, uh, it's an anti-inflammatory, it aids in digestion, it gives support to the liver, um, it helps manage diabetes. It can actually even fight depression uh, and give you healthier skin. But the main reason I grow it is that it tastes so good. Yeah, and it's expensive to, to buy in the store. And when you buy it, it's already wilting. It doesn't taste as good. So I, I grow as much as I can uh, in the summer months here and harvest it uh, and freeze it as a, as a pesto sauce uh, over winter. So in this video, I'd like to show you uh, sort of how I harvest it, how I, I prune the plants so that they keep producing more leaves and maybe even touch a little bit on uh, on growing conditions. Yeah, basically how to maximize your basil harvest. So I've got my bucket and I got my scissors. Uh, let's cut some basil. So as you can see, this is a uh, all right, a little bit of no-till weeding there. As you can see, this is a fairly new um, bed of basil, actually. All these beds are. Sorry for the dirtiness, but they just got mulched with uh, grass the other day, so grass is kind of everywhere. Anyway, just let me uh, show you how I would harvest. Um, you know, you see a, a lot of times people go, oh, this looks like a good leaf, and they'll take that leaf, and then you know, they'll take that leaf, and then that leaf, and then that leaf, and so on and so on. But that's not how you harvest basil. If you want your basil to grow up huge uh, and, and bushy and keep producing and producing and producing, I know it seems harsh, but you take the top like this, boom, knock it off. Same with this guy right here. Boom, grab you. See these new little shoots growing out already? This guy too. Boom. This guy, there's a node right underneath. Boom, gotcha. Let's drop in our bucket over here. So if I can zoom in on this one plant, so you can actually see both of them here that I harvested. This guy and this guy. And if you look close, right there, try and get focus here you can see new little buds coming out and it's those little buds that'll be the next branches of shoots and it'll actually branch out on either side so you'll get double the shoots so every time you cut you almost get double the production for the next cut it's it's brilliant okay so I've sacrificed this little basil shoot. Um, just give you a quick example of how I would harvest it uh, to start this one branching out. Now, these two leaves right here are actually cotyledons, so they're not real leaves. Um, so the suggestion would be to actually cut it up here, right in there, because you want two nodes, but 
I can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I can already see shoots coming out through there. So what I would do, I would nip that off there and harvest it. This plant would stay in the pot or the ground, and then new shoots would come out there, doubling the production of this particular shoot. So as you see, you know, a lot of people harvest basil the wrong way. They, they just, they take the big leaves and they think, oh no, you know, I can't take too much because I want the plant to keep growing. But basil's not like that. You know, as long as there's a bottom, you know, one to two nodes, two nodes is better. The plant will continue to branch out and branch out and branch out. Then you just keep knocking off the tops. And, you know, it's the beginning of summer now. By the middle of summer, these beds will just be absolutely full. Um, it'll be more basil than anybody besides me would know what to do with. In fact, we'll probably do a revisiting video uh, maybe later in August and I'll, I'll show you just just how big these beds are. Okay, well here's some outdoor basil um, that I planted as plugs about two weeks ago. Uh, you know, not a single plug has died. It's growing fantastic. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the flavor profile of these guys is compared to the greenhouse ones that are more in like a potting mix. Um, this one is, is more in compost. Uh, that was lasagna garden because this used to be one of my garlic beds. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see which, uh, which one tastes better. Now here's a tray of four inch pots that I'm, I'm hardening off. You can kind of see a... The leaves have taken a bit of sun and wind burn. That's fine, there's new leaves coming up that'll be more uh, accustomed to these conditions. So you always lose a few leaves when you move from the greenhouse to, um, to outside. So just to touch on, the, uh, on how to harvest basil, it's kind of funny that uh, you know basil and tomatoes go hand in hand, but they're harvested completely opposite. You know, with tomatoes, you pull out those side suckers uh, to get all the energy to go to the growing head. Uh, that's where you get the fruit. Uh, but with basil, you know, it's a herb. Um, you don't harvest the flowers and the fruit. So you just keep cutting that growing head more and more and more. So interesting concept. Okay, so I did a lot of the cutting. Uh, most of it's done. I'll probably go through it a little bit finer uh, after I shoot this video. So now let's talk about the growing conditions for your basil. You know, it's not enough just to prune it properly. You know, basil has a specific range of temperatures and moistures and sunlight, um, just like any other plant uh, that it requires to grow to its full potential. All right, so as promised, here is what I found the optimal growing conditions for basil to be. So it likes a neutral pH. Basil really likes a well-drained organic soil that is rich in nutrients. Being a tropical plant, basil really kind of needs the warm temperatures um, above 10 degrees Celsius, 50 Fahrenheit if you're in the U.S. Now for sunlight, all the books say about 4 to 5 hours of direct sunlight per day, but I found basil grows best when it doesn't actually hit direct sunlight. You know, it grows best indoors, in a greenhouse, or better yet, that's ground cover in a companion plant, like grow it in your tomato pot grow it in your bed of peppers, I'm in the understory of your taller plants. And finally we come to watering. With basil, I like to keep the soil quite moist, uh, but never too soggy, never standing water. You always want that soil to drain every day. Anyway, thanks for joining me in this little uh, basil tutorial. I hope it was somewhat informative. If you like what you see, you know, hit a thumbs up. Uh, maybe click subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely leave some comments below if you got any other uh, tips and tricks on growing basil. And keep the discussion going. And uh, we'll see you next time. Hmm. So, if I sell this at the farm stand for $2, I get $2. But if I plant it and grow a giant amount of basil, then I get many more dollars in pesto. Hmm.